Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. Uh, we are going to understand today uh, introduction of observability. That means what is observability? Now if you see that here, uh, this all series is coming under the observability. But there's a Dynatrix, AppDynamics, Prometheus, Splunk, ELK as well and Grafana. So this whole series is observability. So we need to understand what is the importance of observability. Now, if you want to see, uh, I just want to show you, let's say, Dynatrix. Enter. And if you see that, um, their website. See here, observability. Now, if you see that uh, app dynamics here, uh, oops, I clicked on the wrong one actually. Uh, so many ads, yeah, here it is. And this is also uh, observability, if you see that. Yeah, so here observe now if you see that um, let's say graph now see observability platform see so nowadays every tool which uh, we are going to learn in the next couple of days uh, these all are observability, observability platform so the question is what is observability right that we are supposed to understand that so anyone would like to help me here uh, just to make this uh, session interactive anyone all of you hello uh, i'm audible right all of you So yeah, anyone would like to start with little bit of introduction if you feel like sharing. Okay. Maybe so, it's a monitoring tool. Yeah. Yeah. So this will go longer. Okay. So let's let's do one thing let me introduce myself uh, uh, the concept of observability so guys we know that monitoring is the keyword i mean what is monitoring you know that nothing great about it and it's been there from last 20 30 years in we've been doing a monitoring so if you if you remember that what kind of monitoring earlier we were do, we were doing uh, we were doing like okay server is up and up and running or not or second type of monitoring what we do is like uh, services up and running or not third type of monitoring we were doing like cpu ram disk network and all kind of things and we used to do get a matrices for it so that is that is how the observability you know origin got uh, origin of observability got started monitoring which we know very well so monitoring is the most basic component in their reliability period pyramid and uh, enables incident response and ports bottom. That means uh, we want to check the, the whether your product is reliable or not. And for that, we do have a monitoring. And through that, we have some issues in the software. We get it issue uh, incident and then we respond and do the post mortem. So these are the something which we do but you know what uh, monitoring is dead yes monitoring is dead long live observability long live observability so monitoring tells you whether a system is working or not working observability let you ask why it isn't working okay that is a thing so observability means assembling all fragments from logs monitoring tools and organize them in a such a way which gives actionable knowledge of the whole environment thus creating an insight 
so yes uh, once upon a time there was a monitoring but now uh, we have a observability so if you want to correlate this one observability is a superset of monitoring it provides not only high level overviews of the system health but also highly granular insight into the implicit failure mode of the system in addition observable system furnishes an ample context about the inner working unlocking the ability to uncover deeper systematic issues that means uh, I'll, I'll put it in this way monitoring will tell you you know the outside of your system infrastructure like cpu ram disk network up and running or not like that but if you set up observability you will get to know what are, what are the problems we have inside the applications okay inside applications so that information also you will come to know and that is how it is been set for the observability so if you look at the pyramid here as part of alert uh, monitoring we were doing alerting overview and debugging but here we do more than that profiling what kind of issues you have check the dependency analysis based on the whatever the data we have we predict the future also so if you want to put it in a way what we are doing in order to make it the system observable whatever the best method we were doing in the testing verifications process we put it in the observability and then all the monitoring predictable failures we put it up together and then that the domain which has come is become observability now observability has become very popular nowadays because of sre i mean sre the one which i introduced you uh, if you remember that uh, if you want to configure the on the SRE, the observability is one of the important part of it. And that is where we get SLI. And then based on the SLI, you set up, you have a contract SLA and then SLO will be done. So yeah, monitoring system should address two questions. What's broken and why? While observability covered the larger scope, monitoring is mainly used in the terms of metrics monitoring. In summary, observability is a property of the system and monitoring is an activity we perform on the system so that is how it is so if you look at this here how to implement the observability hierarchy so in order to uh, do the observability you need to gather the past data from the past also metrics from the past uh, past i i don't i would not say metrics i would say data now these are the different types of data we gather and I'll, I'll talk about that one in few minutes so why i said i should not say metrics i'll talk about it so yeah tracing and logging the data trace and logs you get it which has happened in the past and then you get a matrices which is in present and then uh, based on the data from the tracing logging and the metrics you predict the future stats and signals you get it so the data which you get it from the past which you diagnosed the data which you have from matrix you present on dashboard and then use for the detection which is stats and signals so yeah uh, if you little bit you want to compare the observability versus monitoring observability gain understanding about the system actively whereas monitoring consume information passively Observability ask a question based on hypothesis, mind it. Monitoring ask a question based on the dashboard, important one. Uh, observability built to tame dynamic environment with changing complexity. Now, if you remember that earlier we used to talk about the monitoring. Now we are talking about observability, why? So I would say like this is the one of the important uh, thing which we are doing right now. So I, our environment is dynamic. If you see that monitoring was mainly built for uh, static environment and observability is uh, good for uh, dynamic. So what is a dynamic versus static? So you know that earlier we were running all the application in static environment. That is how we choose to be. And then now we are running in the pod Kubernetes and pod is dynamic. That means one pod is gone, gone. It will never come back. So you get a similar pod 
and that is something which is a dynamic in nature so yeah that is a major difference so now the question is uh, okay i understand a little bit of uh, dynamic uh, monitoring and observability but how do you perform this what are the things we have to do so in order to set up observability you need to set up a you need to collect the telemetry data okay telemetry means telemetry means the the metron different types of measures which is collected from the remote devices so that's called telemetry so now what kind of uh, metron what kind of data types you need to collect so primarily we call it a melt in short but m for matrix e for events l for logs and traces so that means we are going to collect four different types of data uh, so we can set up observability earlier what we used to do we used to sub, uh, only configure the matrices so we are not focusing too much on the traces and logs but now if you combine together everything put it together you need to ca capture all these different types of data in order to set up observability so yes uh, if you put the events into matrix so there are three pillars of observability matrices different types of matrices uh, traces and logs so if you ca capture this one we'll will do the observability so what is a trace now i'll put it in a simple way uh, let's say if you access your customer access to your website now this website I'll, I'll discuss more in detail in upcoming session because uh, the whole series which we have next uh, seven eight classes that is in observability only so one of the session when i'll talk about the apm i'll discuss much in detail but right now uh, if you visualize in your mind we hit the website domain and domain hit to the dns server dns server to certain web front load balancer maybe uh, then passing to the another load balancing which host the applications databases within an application itself multiple calls happen internally within a code level also method level class level and all api level so this whole whole request travel and then get you the response and that too also so in a few seconds I would not say few seconds and nowadays is a one two seconds only you get it so but in the response code you got it in one second but i want to study your whole i want to trace your whole transaction whole relationship whole performance between different uh, endpoints so how do we do that and that is where the trace we need to capture it i think matrix is something which you know that very well cpu is a matrix disk space number of traffic number of errors all these are matrices and the logs we have where you know that application log server logs network logs and all that so we have a logs as well so if you want to set up observability you have to capture logs uh, you have to collect capture the traces do visualizations and all stuff like that okay so i'll skip some of the discussion because some of the definition i assume you know that so okay so now the question is observability is a good thing uh, using observability you need to collect all the melted data but not for the data which has happened occurred in the past but present and then future predict the future also so that is good the there are lots of advantage which we have uh, in observability but the question is why it is so hard to implement that right see uh, observability you'll you will get to know not only what is failing but you'll get to know why that is failing where is the problem which module which component which part of the code has a problem so many things you get it so but the question is why is observability hard that is a thing why is so hard so now you see the evolution of the changes what you have 
so earlier we were running software in the vms and all but now we are running the kubernetes containers and all stuff like that so we are changing the environment and platform a lot uh, look at this uh, um, not only the platform is changing but architecture also changing getting changed here earlier we were running everything in the monolithic environment fewer servers then we migrated to service oriented architectures and all and then currently we have in the microservices right so this is the change which we are happening look at this image uh, this is the image if you if you know that already it's one of the old image of the of the uber microservices now look at this so many microservices and their relationship call means if you if you make a some booking right and how many calls it happens you can visualize that and how do you this is a dynamic environment so again they run in the kubernetes and all so it's very difficult to uh, you know monitor and each of the service is running on hundreds of servers within a kubernetes cluster different uh, thousands and thousands of different different pods so how can you do that i mean how can you monitor it and that is a challenge which we got it now you look at this this is the same i mean something similar image and the current one from the i mean pretty much latest one from the uber same both are image from the uber microservices only but look at the complexity has grown this is the one of the most recent one and if i tell you okay these are the number of microservices we have and you're going to monitor it how do you do that and just imagine what challenges you have and monitoring definitely is not going to fix that issue so we need to come up with something different so then you will talk about okay fine uh, we understand this but how do we do that uh, monitoring which are the platforms tools we have available so yes you need to set up a ways to uh, to find out application availability network availability server availability whether it's up or up or not up or not so that is something which you've been doing from last so many years that's called monitoring but now you need to do applications performance also network performance also server performance also not only performance but also you need to know that whether application is reliable is it broken network and server so everything you need to do that and what are the software what are the tools we have available which is helping us to do the observability so these are the tools which we have datadoc neuralic splunk elastic app dynamics dynatrace grafana and many more so these are the some of the popular one uh, by the way most of these are paid one actually uh, so now you say like do, we don't have any one tool which is for observability in open source category the answer is no we do have for availability we have a separate tool for performance we have a separate tool for reliability in open source category but there's no one tool actually so that means if you're looking for the solutions in the open source world then you have to learn multiple tools actually and uh, something similar we have to do that so this is called observability and that is why we are learning so many tools now i want to show you here uh, this one uh, this is the observability platform this one is observability prometheus which will help you only for uh, infrastructure monitoring that means monitoring tool exactly but now you say i need log management how do you do that so here you can use logging elk okay and now for open source category for performance monitoring we don't have any of this and if you want dashboarding solution you have a graph now so these are the open source you can say open source open source open source apart from that dynatrace app dynamics and splunk these three uh, are paid one dynatrace is for uh, primarily it was made for uh, uh, traces app dynamics was primarily also meant for traces but now they all are in everything and also splunk is for the log 
now actually they are into everything but we will cover one topic log management but if you if you look at their services what they have they are into everything so uh, guys uh, this is observability did you understand all of you now what is observability yes okay so this is something which we have now i'm going to help you with it uh, prometheus okay this is the one of the platform which is for infrastructure monitoring okay so that is something which i am going to cover have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching